direct from the Rob Lincoln Unpresidential Library. It's Quest for a Thousand Songs. Episode 69, week 69. This is a little bit later than usual, not on a Sunday. It is Tuesday, July 4th, 2023. But we will have another episode this Sunday, so we never miss a week. And we have, of course, two songs brand new. They were written today, actually, and a cover, Just Learn Today, song that I've known for a number of years, but never really actually ever played it. So, without further ado, we'll get started. So July 4th is the birthday of the late great songwriter Bill Withers. He wrote Lean On Me, and he also wrote Ain't No Sunshine. I listened to Ain't No Sunshine, and I wrote this song that kind of combines a little bit of a Bill Withers feel with the 4th of July, it's called This 4th of July.
That's this 4th of July, written on this July 4th, about three hours ago. And it was a first take, like many of them often are. And I dedicate that to Bill Withers, who was born today. And uh, you probably noticed a little technique I took from Bill Withers, his great song, Ain't No Sunshine. But most of that wasn't as Bill Witherish as it might have been Rob Lincolnish. Now for another original song. So this next original song written today also has a July 4th theme, a similar title, rather than this 4th of July. This one is called On This Independence Day. And it was inspired by the music of Peter Rowan. I listened to a couple of his songs, Panama Red, and I uh, also listened to Midnight Moonlight. He's a great uh, songwriter, and I don't think the song sounds anything like him. It sounds maybe a tiny bit James Taylorish. But anyhow, I also want to thank one of our listeners, Russ Clank, who suggested I use the word uncle because I guess he was thinking Uncle Sam. Uncle gets into this song, but even better, my cover has a title with the word uncle in it. So, on this Independence Day... song about a different kind of freedom. Freedom from having a home. Freedom from having a job. Now we will have a more upbeat song about cold-blooded murder and mayhem. That's our coverage for tonight. Well, this is a song, if you've heard it before, you most likely heard it from The Grateful Dead. Great version done by them sung by Bob Weir, who loves cowboy songs. Well, I figured this was an old cowboy song or maybe an old country song. And then I learned the mysterious story of me and my uncle. Judy Collins was the first, I believe, to release the song. She released it on a live album in 1964. Sometime later, John Phillips 
Papa John from the Mamas and Papas got a royalty check from Judy Collins. He asked her why, and he said, because she said I recorded a song of yours. He said, what song? She said, me and my uncle. He said, I never heard of that song before. Turns out he wrote it while drunk, while hanging out of the party with Judy Collins and never remembered he wrote the song. Certainly doesn't sound like a John Phillips song. And uh, I've always felt, um, always felt this is an unreliable narrator. Here we go. Me and my uncle. Me and my uncle went riding down South Colorado, West Texas bound. We stopped over in Santa Fe. That point being just about halfway. And you know it was the hottest part of the day. Took the horses up to the stall Went to the bar room, ordered drinks for all Three days in the saddle, you know my body hurt It being summer, I took off my shirt And I tried to wash off some of that dust and dirt West Texas Cowboys, they're all around and money, they're loaded down. So soon after payday, you know it just seems a shame. You know my uncle starts a friendly game. I know Jack in the winner takes a hand. My uncle starts winning, the cowboys got sore. One of them called him. And then two more Accused him of cheating Oh no, he couldn't be I know my uncle He's as honest as me And I'm as honest as a Denver man can be One of them cowboys He starts to draw I shut down laws He never saw Shot me another hot damn, he won't grow old. And in the confusion, my uncle grabbed the gold. And we hightailed out down to Mexico. that was a particularly sympathetic narrator. Quite a knave. Anyhow, thank you, uh, Russ, for suggesting Uncle. That was a second take, but the first time I had ever played the song was a few minutes ago. Always enjoyed Bob Weir's version, but Judy Collins does a really cool version as well on our live album back around 1964. So hopefully you enjoyed that cover or maybe one of the originals. Thanks so much for listening and have a happy rest of the week. We'll be back on Sunday. Take care. And please, please like this video. Please, if you like something. And subscribe if you haven't yet. What? Why, why wait? No one will ever know. Take care. Bye.